Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. The devil, I'm putting you on notice, he already knows it, is in fear and trembling when a believer understands the power, the blood of Jesus, the power of pleading the blood of Jesus, I tell you, every knee must bow at the name of Jesus, and the devil himself is overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Thousands have been uh, healed, blind can see, deaf can hear, uh, hearts have been restored, cancer, uh, 57 stage 4 cancers healed. What does stage 4 mean? Stage 4 cancer is the end of the cancer situation in your life where the cancer has really taken your body and uh, no more chemo, no more radiation. More. They actually give you limits like one week, 10 days, two months to live type. That is and, the stage 4. But you say you attribute all of these miracles to understanding the blood of Jesus. Understanding the blood of Jesus and how to apply the blood. Now, you started as a young child. You remember, what did your grand? you said your grandmother would plead the blood. Yes. What do you remember? I remember it uh, as a young boy going to grandma's house. I loved it. I loved to go to church with her. I loved to uh, praise and worship with her. She would walk through her house pleading the blood. She would not let us leave home without praying for us and pleading the blood over us. She would not let us go to bed at night without praying for us and pleading the blood. And she taught us. She, she, we, now listen, we didn't sit on the couch and pray. We knelt and prayed. Why don't you plead the blood over the people right now the way your grandmother would? Lord, I come right now to plead the blood of Jesus. I use that name of Jesus. Anybody that needs healing today, just start pleading the blood of Jesus. Command that disease to leave your body in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. Financial blessings come to you today when you plead the blood of Jesus. The devil runs, he, he hates it when you plead the blood. He fears you when you plead the blood of Jesus. Demons will leave you alone. You will never have them come on your property ever again when you plead the blood of Jesus. I tell you, we've got to use it more and more and more. You had a revelation on the 39 stripes of Jesus, which is, they did 39 because I think they believe 40, the person might die. Uh, but tell me about the 39 stripes. 39 stripes. They did 40 minus 1. That was a normal tradition of the Roman beating that they did to the prisoners. And Jesus took the 39 stripe. Every stripe, there are 39 major diseases in the world today, cancer being one of them. And Jesus took that stripe for you and for me. Every stripe he took on the black brought blood from him, so I wanted to teach the blood. I wanted to teach on the blood, how to apply the blood, how the blood will work just like it worked centuries ago, and it's still working today. I'm talking about today, when I pray for people, I never, never leave them without pleading the blood over them. And, and most people think, well, you plead the blood for sickness, but you plead the blood for every problem known to man. Not only salvation, not only healing, not only deliverance, but peace, sanctification, righteousness, financial blessings over your family, o over every aspect of your life, plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood over decisions you've got to make about finances. 
Plead the blood of Jesus over that situation. Decisions in your marriage, plead the blood of Jesus over that marriage. Plead the blood of Jesus over children and grandchildren, like my grandmother used to do with me, like my mother taught me. Plead the blood of Jesus, and I'm into that. I, I, I'm going to plead the blood. When I come to your church, I'm going to plead the blood. I'm, today, I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus. Thousands healed, demons run when we plead the blood of Jesus. Tell me about a 10-year-old Tommy Combs who has hepatitis C. What was the prognosis for you? Don't know how it happened. Still to this day, don't know how that happened to my body. The enemy attacked my body at age 10. I was diagnosed with hepatitis C and went to the hospital on a Thursday night. Got there, they examined me. They come out and told my mom and dad, he should have been here months ago. Hepatitis C has destroyed his liver. Your Ooh. son will die in a week. Hmm. Your son will die in eight, nine days. There's nothing we can do. I'm glad you had a praying grandmother that <laughs> knew. <laughs> grandmother and a mother that yeah. knew. So that was Thursday night. They put me in the room in the hospital. And on Sunday morning, you remember this, Sid, or Roberts came on television. Something good is going to happen to you. He used and to say that every time. Every time. time. And, and you know what? Something, something good began, happened to you. Yes, it did. It's something good happened to me. And during that program, he would put his hand up, and nothing was on the TV screen except Oral Roberts' hand. Put your hands on. And the camera would zoom in on his hand, and he would say, if you need a healing, touch your television. If you, if you, you can't. You know, that's today, that sounds so hokey, but guess what? If someone has stage four cancer and they'll be healed, when we, just before we go off there, will you hold your hand up to the camera? Yes. And if you will touch his hand, whether it's stage four cancer or your wife has just left you for another man or your kids are on drugs, whatever it is, I'm going to believe that's going to be your point of contact. So, Oral Roberts is on TV. What happened? Put your hands on My your mother puts child. her hand on Lord the TV. This little, child. It's a little black and white TV setting up beside the bed. Mother touches it, reaches her other hand to my stomach, and says these words, God heal my boy, and I'll give him to you. Hmm. If you don't know where that is, that is 1 Samuel chapter 1. I know. I read Hannah, that two days ago. Hannah said, give me a man child. Samuel was born out of that prayer. Mm -hmm. Instantly, when my mother prayed that prayer, the power of God, and then my mother pleaded the blood now, I don't want to leave that out. My mother prays, my grandmother prays, and they plead the blood. Instantly, the power of God came into my hospital room. It rolled in like a blue mist. I can remember it like yesterday, see it? I remember the blue mist rolling into the room. It was so powerful. It knocked my grandmother to one side of the bed, my mother to the other side of the bed on the floor. I raised up and looked like this. My mother and my grandmother are gone. Jesus walked back up to the bottom of my bed, walked right up through that blue mist at the bottom of my bed. I saw him. I can describe him to you. I see him today just, just vividly as I saw him as a 10-year-old boy on that bed, lying there dying sick, walked up to my bed. I got a brand new liver in one second, one second healed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I feel that same anointing today right here on the set as I feel that day when Jesus came in the room with me. There are healed. Healing's going to take place today. There are healings going to take place. Get ready for it. Miracles are going to happen. I have to ask you, how did the doctor or the nurses react? I mean, they were ready to ship you off to the grave. The nurse comes in. She don't know what's happening. She calls the doctor. The doctor come in. He calls his other assistant doctors. So I got four or five doctors around me. They look at me. They give me a blood test. I have absolutely no hepatitis in my bloodstream. My liver is totally clean, healed, perfectly healed by the power of God. The doctor says to my mother and grandmother, God has healed your son. When we come back, let's see what the blood of Jesus does with a dead woman in Peru. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, 
The It's Supernatural online network is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs with this free ISN app. Our world doesn't need another Christian TV network. What the world needs is life-changing programs that have a tangible outpouring of God's presence. And people need to be able to access it whenever they need it, wherever they are. ISN makes it possible to meet you right at your point of need with live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on mobile devices or smart TVs. Or choose from dozens of powerful episodes of It's Supernatural and other exclusive programs in our online library. Just go to your app store and download it for free. Whenever, wherever, God's not limited, and neither is your access to the supernatural of God. We now return to it's Supernatural. Did you know that there is such wonder-working power in the blood of Jesus, there is supernatural protection? Explain, Tommy. There is supernatural protection. You remember the covenant and the blood covenant put the blood on the doorpost? I, well, I say yeah. we can do that today. We need to do that today. It should be done today as we go through our home, pleading the blood of Jesus over the protection of our home, over the protection of our properties, over the protection of our business. God will do that. He will honor that. Not only is there salvation, healing, and deliverance in the blood, but there's per supernatural protection for you, your family, your business, because of the blood of Jesus. And I pray that. I pray supernatural protection over the properties. Let me tell you what I've done. I've took oil and put it on the bottom of my shoes, my old work boots. So oil. therefore, every place you put your foot, devil, you're not, just you're like not the blood at Passover, the angel of death couldn't even go into you're the You're not Jewish allowed house. on this property. The angel did not go on that property simply because of the blood. Same thing. Put oil on your old work boots and walk your property line and stomp your foot and say, devil, you can't come on this property. But angels can come on this property. Sickness can't come on this property. But healing can come on this property. I'll tell you what, after this show, you know what I'm going to do, Tommy? Yeah. I'm going to put oil on my shoe and the blood of Jesus I'm going to apply. And uh, I'm, I'm, right, I'm reminded of what God said to Joshua, every place you put your foot, I'm giving you Amen. in the promised land. How about in the promises of God? Every place you put your foot, the promises of God are, are going to be there. You tell me the devil hates Isaiah 53, 5. By His stripes we are healed. It says, are healed. Not should be, not could be, not might be, but healed by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the stripes. I did the 39 stripes for the 39 stripes Jesus took for us and every stripe for the healing power of Jesus Christ in our lives. And it's part of our lives, should be part of our lives. We say, now you've tried this, we've tried this, we've gone here, we've done that, we've read this, we've done that. It's time to plead the blood. It's time to plead the blood. It's got to get to that point in our lives that we go back to pleading the blood of Jesus and sing the old songs. There's power in the blood, wonder-working power in the blood. The dead are raised by the blood of Jesus. Tell me just one, a woman in Peru. This, this is amazing. Doing a uh, trip into Peru in a stadium, had about 15,000 people there every night praying for people, had 3,000 saved in that uh, trip into the Iquitos, Peru, the jungle city of Peru. About 500,000 people lived there, deep in the jungle. So a lady had died about 4 p.m. that afternoon. And, and they, most of the time, they would bury them the next morning or late that afternoon. But the husband of that lady and her son bring her to the meeting. Now, I didn't know she was there. I'm doing the, right. the preaching on the stage and so forth. Uh, so they bring, bring the corpse. They bring the meeting. corpse on a cot, a homemade cot, uh -huh. and they lay her in the back of the room at the stadium. She's in the stadium there. I had no idea. So they get there about 6 p.m., and she stays there until 10.30. 
Hmm. At 1030, I'm ending the prayer line where I'm praying for people and God's doing miracles. I like to call them popcorn miracles because they happen so fast, just like mm -hmm. this. The miracles are happening. And they bring this lady to me and I say, what's, what's wrong, wrong with this lady? And the answer was, she's dead. I said, sir, repeat that for me, please. <laughs> she's dead. And I asked the daddy and the son, why would you bring your dead mother to me? And they said this. So God can raise her up. That's the faith of the daddy and the faith of the son that God's going to raise their mama. God's going to raise my wife from the dead. I knelt beside her and began to pray. I anoint her. Pray for her. I take authority over death. Now you can do that. You can absolutely take authority over death. I take authority over death in the name of Jesus, not in my name, but in the name of Jesus, take authority over death. I plead the blood of Jesus right now, and I blew in her face, just blew in her face. And she opened her eyes. And when she opened her eyes, I just took her by her hand and raised her up. She sat up. And I said, well, if you're going to sit up, just stand up. Then stand up. And I'm telling you, we had church until midnight. God, I can take you to her home. I've had lunch with this lady in her home right now in Iquitos, Peru. We can go there and visit her. She's alive today. Jesus is still raising the dead because we plead the blood. Jesus said, you will do. You. That's why you're watching. I want you to be healed. I want you to pray for the sick. It's not the people on TV. It's the people that have Jesus inside of themselves. You qualify if Jesus is your Messiah and Lord. When we come back, Tommy used a phrase. I understand it. Popcorn miracles, meaning there'll be so many miracles you can't keep track. Pop, 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 like the popcorn. I'm going to have him pray for you when we come back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get the Power in the Blood package, which includes Tommy Combs' brand new anointed book, This Blood's for You, plus his powerful audio CD teaching, How to Apply the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Plus, you receive the classic book by H.A. Maxwell White, The Power of the Blood, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9473. You will receive Tommy Combs' brand new anointed devotional book, This Blood's for You, The Cruel Beating and 39 stripes Jesus endured were not only for your salvation, healing, and deliverance, but also for your supernatural protection, peace, sanctification, righteousness, eternal inheritance, and so much more. Learn how to plead the blood of Jesus. Apply the blood to every area of your life. Proclaim life instead of death over you and your household. As a result of pleading the blood, you will obtain eternal life, God's supernatural conquering power, protection from demonic interference and oppression, healing and deliverance, and so much more. You will also receive Tommy Combs' anointed audio CD teaching, How to Apply the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Learn how to apply and plead the blood of Jesus over your spouse, children, home, job, debt, your body, every area of your life. Included is Tommy praying a powerful prayer where he pleads the blood over your life. Plus, you receive the classic book by H.A. Maxwell White, The Power of the Blood. Sid Roth said, this is a powerful weapon of spiritual warfare. Everyone must read this book. Through this book, you will find out how to experience God's complete forgiveness, become spiritually empowered, equipped, and energized, break the terrifying grip of fear and torment, create an atmosphere for miracles, defeat oppression, addictions, and sickness. Don't miss out on getting The Power in the Blood package, which includes Tommy Combs' brand new anointed book, This Blood's for You, plus his powerful audio CD teaching, How to Apply the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Plus, you receive the classic book by H.A. Maxwell White, The Power of the Blood, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9473. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 392. 222 Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9473 or log on to sidroth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. 
Tommy, you say it's important in your home, wherever you are, to not just talk about the blood of Jesus, but sing about. There's something very powerful about singing. Your words are powerful. Words are powerful. You can bless me with your words, or you can curse me with your words. But my own ears have to hear the words, and the best way I know to do that is to sing about the blood of Jesus. Yeah, give me just, just a snippet. So I know you're not a singer, but sing. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That's not singing. Well, I know. What can make me hold again? <laughs> Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can Satan. wash away my sins? I'm Nothing not a singer. But the blood of Jesus. See, if you can do it, if <laughs> I can, can do, do it, it, you can do it. We can. But, and if you could only see what's going on in the invisible realm when you do that, Tommy. Um, tell me about other areas where you apply the blood, like finances. Financial blessings. Take your checkbook, lay it on your table. You and your wife come in agreement, that's powerful agreement prayers, and plead the blood of Jesus over your money situations. Before you make a financial decision, Pray about it and plead the blood of Jesus over it. Use some wisdom and let God lead and guide you on that situation. I had a young man come to me and said, I need some help, need financially. Some help financially. And we prayed for there him. And I told him there'll be three distinct life. areas in your life that's going to happen in the next two weeks. He was a retired military from the Iraq War. Number one, he, he was hurt in the war. He got his military pension. Number two, his wife went back to work with a better job with more benefits. And number three, he got his Social Security disability that he'd been trying to get for two years. All three happened within a two-week period because I told him, start pleading the blood over your financial situation. And God did those miracles. Don't forget that. Yes, healing. Yes, salvation. Yes, children. Yes, grandchildren. Yes, we're going to plead the blood. Don't don't forget financial miracles when you plead the blood of Jesus. But you know what the greatest thing the blood of Jesus does? Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. None. Talk about that. The blood of Jesus. Without that, there's nothing happening in our life. Eternal life we can have when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. How about you? Have you accepted Jesus as your Messiah and Lord? You know, Jesus puts it this way. This is eternal life, that you might have experiential knowledge of me. Say this prayer and mean it out loud. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That my sins are washed away. That my sins are washed away. There's total forgiveness. There's total forgiveness. It's a new future. It's a new future. It's the first day of the rest of my life. First day of the rest of my life. Jesus, come inside of Jesus, me. Jesus, come inside of me. And become my Lord and Savior. And become my Lord and Savior. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I want experiential knowledge of you. I want experiential knowledge of you. Amen. Amen. And now I commission you to pray as God tells you, applying the blood of Jesus, cancers, yes. they are going to flee. That means run as in terror. And remember to put your hand up yes. just as Oral did and think about the healing you had. Amen. I Lord, we come to you today and we thank you and you praise you for everything we have or hope to have, and we plead the blood. Those of you who are watching today need a healing in your life. If you can't touch your TV screen, just point your hand toward the TV screen right now, and I plead the blood of Jesus. Cancer, you got to go in Jesus' name. I take authority over cancer. Leukemia, you got to go in Jesus' name. Heartbeats are the rhythm of your heart is getting healed right now in the name of Jesus. I see it happening. Migraines are disappearing. Sciatic nerves are getting healed in backs, and that's a, that's a thousand people are getting healed of sciatica in your back right now is because I'm pleading the blood of Jesus. Someone cannot make tears. You got dry eye. God is healing you. And you will make tears this very day when I plead the blood of Jesus over you and that healing is taking place. Acid reflux is getting healed right now, and many of you are getting healed right now. Receive it today. Point your hand toward my hand in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. Say this, I receive my healing. 
I receive my healing. healing. I am healed. I am healed. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am set free. I am set free. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood and of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus. And in the name of I Jesus. I receive it. I receive it. Name. Amen. Amen. In this exclusive Power in the Blood package, which includes Tommy Combs' brand new anointed book, This Blood's for You, plus his powerful audio CD teaching, How to Apply the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Plus, you receive the classic book by H.A. Maxwell White, The Power of the Blood, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9473. Call now and get the Power in the Blood package. You will receive Tommy Combs' brand new anointed devotional book, this blood's for you. The cruel beating and 39 stripes Jesus endured were not only for your salvation, healing, and deliverance, but also for your supernatural protection, peace, sanctification, righteousness, eternal inheritance, and so much more. Learn how to plead the blood of Jesus. Apply the blood to every area of your life. Proclaim life instead of death over you and your household. As a result of pleading the blood, you will obtain eternal life, God's supernatural conquering power, protection from demonic interference and oppression, healing and deliverance, and so much more. The devil hates this book. The devil hates it when we speak on the blood of Jesus. If you want to turn him away from your family, turn him away from any aspect of your life, then talk about the blood. I'm telling you, there's power, and the devil hates when we teach on the blood of Jesus. You will also receive Tommy Combs' anointed audio CD teaching, How to Apply the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Learn how to apply and plead the blood of Jesus over your spouse, children, home, job, debt, your body, every area of your life. Included is Tommy praying a powerful prayer where he pleads the blood over your life. Plus, you receive the classic book by H.A. Maxwell White, The Power of the Blood. Sid Roth said, this is a powerful weapon of spiritual warfare. Everyone must read this book. Through this book, you will find out how to experience God's complete forgiveness, become spiritually empowered, equipped, and energized, break the terrifying grip of fear and torment, create an atmosphere for miracles, defeat oppression, addictions, and sickness. People, when they read this book, they get deliverance from the demonic. There is nothing more powerful than the blood of Jesus. Now, the demonic, it causes health problems. It causes uh, financial problems. It causes family problems. Uh, and if you have something greater than the demonic, a weapon in your arsenal, why would you not want to use it? Don't miss out on getting The Power in the Blood package, which includes Tommy Combs' brand new anointed book, This Blood's for You, plus his powerful audio CD teaching, How to Apply the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Plus, you receive the classic book by H.A. Maxwell White, The Power of the Blood, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9473. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 392. 222 Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9473 or log on to sidroth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. How would you like to have all your prayers answered? I'm Dr. Kevin Zadai. Join me on It's Supernatural as I share with you how Jesus taught me how to have all your prayers answered. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.